Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Code Ward. Uh, today, we're going to go through a little how to on using non XRPL tokens in Zum by using GitHub here. We're going to start the tutorial out here using a account that hasn't been set up yet. So, this is a brand new account. We haven't even funded it yet. So, this will be a good starting point for new users and as well experienced users who do already have an active account. So if you do already have an active account, you can skip forward to the next section where we go through and start adding uh, trust lines and other assets there. So the first thing what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and activate our account. In one of my previous videos, I did a how to import your GitHub account into Zum. So, I'm actually going to be using Zum here as well. So what I'm going to do here is I've opened up Zum and I'm going to go through and send some XRP over to the account here. Now, as I mentioned, this account is already imported into my Zum wallet. So usually, as it says here, you need at least 20 XRP to start using it. But we're going to be doing a few things to do with trust lines here. So I'm going to send a bit extra here. I'll actually send over... Uh, we'll say 50 XRP. And I'm going to add a little bit extra, 0 0.01, which will allow us to cover some uh, transaction fees there. And I'm going to send that to my GitHub account. And I am getting a warning saying that the destination account hasn't been used before. So by sending XRP to the account, 20 of that is going to be reserved. Alrighty. And sending that through, verifying, and there we go. So we've activated our GitHub account here. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and close out some here. Now at this point here, you'll notice that we do have our XRP and we do have 50. Keep in mind 20 of that is reserved for the XRP ledger reserve. Alrighty, so now that we have XRP in our account, what we wanna do is enable the Bitcoin trading here. In order to do so on your GitHub account, you just go to add funds and then click Bitcoin transfer here. Alrighty, and so what we'll do is we'll see that add funds, Bitcoin is disabled. Let's go ahead and enable Bitcoin here. So this is adding the Bitcoin trust line here. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my, or put in my password. And then it's going to also prompt me for my 2FA here. If you already have 2FA enabled, uh, you can go ahead and plug that in there. So, there we go. So this is enabling the trust line. Now we'll just go ahead and enable and hit confirm here. Alrighty, so keep in mind that each trust line you add does add five XRP to the reserve balance. So our 50 XRP that we have here, 20 is in reserve for the account reserve there. By adding the Bitcoin trust line here, it's going to reserve an additional. So our available XRP balance will actually be 25, something to keep in mind there. So we're gonna go ahead and hit confirm here. And this is going through and adding the trust line. Alrighty, so if you have your ZUM already open, you might notice that once this goes through and it saves, we'll have the Bitcoin trust line added to our GitHub account in ZUM as well. So we just need to wait for that to finish going through here. And it's saving in progress. So we're getting a bit of an error uh, trying to add it uh, via the GitHub web app here. So what I'm gonna actually try to do here is go to GitHub and set the uh, trust line through my Zum account and see if we can do it that way. Yeah, there we go. Okay, perfect. So now that we have the Bitcoin trust line added here, what we can do is actually go ahead and click add funds. And then now that we have the Bitcoin trust line, we can hit BTC transfer. So now we can add Bitcoin to our GitHub account using the following Bitcoin address. The deposit will take about an hour, although on your end, it'll be a couple seconds. 
already. So we'll use the address provided here. And just as a warning here, you'll see, use this address for BTC deposits only. Do not send unsupported currencies to this address. You will not be credited for them. Your funds will be lost. So if you decide to send another crypto here, you will lose your funds. So there is a cross-chain recovery policy here you can take a look at. I would suggest you read through that because it will probably cover the fact that basically sending funds to the wrong chain or the wrong address will result in funds lost. So if you're sending BCH, BSV to this address, consider your funds lost. There are other trust lines for associated assets. Just one moment here while I go through and send the funds over. And through the miracle of time, our Bitcoin has been deposited. Okay, so at this point, we do have uh, 30.8749 XRP worth of Bitcoin here, or 0 0.000778. So we have a couple options here. We can do a straight exchange. Okay, so this here is uh, equivalent to a market trade. All right, so if we were to go with our Bitcoin here and say all available, we get 28.59. 0 0.0103 XRP. So that's equivalent to us getting one XRP for every 0 0.00002585 uh, Bitcoin here. Alrighty. Now keep in note that there is also a 0.2% fee, not a 2% fee, a 0.2% fee. All right. So some people get tripped up on that. Just wanted to clarify. However, what we can also do is make a trade here. All right. Now keep in mind anything I'm saying here. It's not financial advice. This is strictly for educational purposes. Now, what we can also do via the trade uh, tab here is we can go ahead and set a new limit order. So we could say we want to buy, you know, uh, 28.5 XRP at 0 0.0002585. And there we go, we cover our uh, Bitcoin amount there. So we could go ahead and hit buy here, or if we wanted it at a slightly better rate, we could say that we want, you know, say we wanted uh, 30 XRP at that price there. We could do so, something to take into account there. So with that being said, then that's the trading options there. Now, if you were to wanna go through and uh, withdraw your Bitcoin, you could turn around and just hit send payment. And then just go to Bitcoin here and enter the contact name. So myself and enter the address that you want to send it to. Again, if you're sending Bitcoin, make sure that you use a Bitcoin address, not a BCH, not a BCV or any other Bitcoin uh, fork there. Make sure that it is a proper Bitcoin address and you can set the amount that you want to send there. So if we were to want to send the full amount that we had, we'll just say 775 to cover a little bit. All right. So we can turn around, plop in our address, hit continue, and we would go and send that payment there. Uh, that there is essentially how you would deposit and withdraw uh, Bitcoin from GitHub. On another note, what we can also do is do some trading within some itself. So what we can do is if we go ahead and open up our ZUM app, I'm sure Witsa probably hates me by now for calling it ZUM. It should be SUM. Okay. And so now that we have our ZUM app open, we have a couple options within ZUM as well. Via the XApps panel here, we can go ahead and hit the GitHub trade. And by bringing up the GitHub trade there, we're basically uh, entering this section of GitHub right here, except via an X app in uh, Sum itself. So we could turn around and go down here and trade XRP versus BTC, right? And we can see a whole list of everything that we have available, whether it's last trades, the order book, and we can even see our open orders. So we could buy XRP using our Bitcoin, or we could also uh, go back and 
sell XRP. So if we wanted to sell XRP for Bitcoin, we could go ahead and do so, or we could sell our Bitcoin for XRP. So there's an option for the trading that way. Uh, what we can also do is if we're looking to just make a quick market trade, we can exchange that directly in sum. And so if we wanted to switch and we say 0 0.000778, and we check here, we can see that that would get us at current market rates in sum would be about 29.992 XRP. So there's a couple options there. And as well, if we wanted to send uh, Bitcoin to somebody, we could go ahead and do so. Keep in mind that sending Bitcoin within ZOM would be to another XRPL user or another ZOM user, okay? Sending Bitcoin from ZOM to another or to a Bitcoin address would not work. So if we were to say 0.000778, Say we go to send it all and we hit next. We see here that the other options given to us are other XRP accounts, not Bitcoin accounts. So that's one thing to keep in mind that when sending Bitcoin or the Bitcoin IOU within some, you are sending that to other XRP users. So if that user has the Bitcoin trust line set up, you want to make sure that they do have a GitHub account as well. Otherwise, their Bitcoin IOU will be, quote, trapped, not really trapped, but within the XRP ecosystem. So basically, to withdraw the Bitcoin from Zum or an XRP account, you do need an off-ramp like uh, GitHub or Bitstamp. One of those two providers would be required and the trust line set up to withdraw that already. So you would also need an account with them. If you're looking to keep the account or the Bitcoin within the XRPL ecosystem, you don't need to worry so much about uh, setting up an account with GitHub or Bitstamp. But if you're looking to send Bitcoin to your account from an outside source or withdraw to an outside source like another exchange, then you would need to set up an account with GitHub or Bitstamp as they offer the IOU. So what we can also do is hop over an XRP toolkit. And if we give a little bit of a refresh here, all right, so our balance per Bitcoin is 0 0.00, is actually 0 0.000778 as we saw in GitHub there. So XRP toolkit here, it does have a two decimal point currency conversion. So reflected as probably cents there, but uh, if you do hover over the balance here, as you see, we do have a tooltip pop up that shows us a that shows us our full balance already. So one thing to keep in mind there as well. So the other option for what we can do is we can send Bitcoin here. Again, this will be to another XRPL user. This is not to be sent to a Bitcoin address. You will need a off ramp via GitHub or Bitstamp in order to withdraw the raw Bitcoin, all right? Transactions uh, within XRP Toolkit, within Zum. Again, to reiterate, are to other XRPL users, you'll be sending to their XRP account here. And in order to send that and them to receive it, they as well would need to have the Bitcoin trust line set up. All right, so via XRP Toolkit, we can also trade via market trade, either buy or sell. So right now we're saying buy, which is to buy XRP using Bitcoin, or we can sell our XRP here. Okay, so if we were to say we wanna sell our 25 XRP, that's gonna get us 0.000629, or well, 627. Okay, or we can hit buy and we wanna buy XRP. So we would say we wanna buy 28 XRP. I'm getting an error here, but if I put a decimal, it bypasses that. So that would allow us to basically uh, go through and set the buy order there. So this would allow us to spend our Bitcoin for 28 XRP. Alrighty, we might actually be able to get away. Yeah, so with what we have, we could mark it by 29 XRP. Now, if we were to go to limit trade, this is where I uh, like to trade is via limit trades, as this gives me a bit more control. 
So if I wanted to, in this instance, say I want to buy 30 XRP, all right, but 25 or 26 is too high for me. So I want to set it down around this range. So if I say, I want to buy at 0 0.00024, I could go ahead and do so. And by doing so, that would actually allow me to get a 32 XRP. So yeah, uh, basically limit trade versus market trade. Market trade is give it to me. I don't care what I pay, just give me as much as I can for what I have. Limit trade is basically saying, I want so much of asset A, but I only want to pay this much. So that there is basically trading XRP for Bitcoin. And via GitHub here, that there is depositing Bitcoin, withdrawing Bitcoin, and trading it via the GitHub trade, GitHub trade app in Sum, and as well using XRP Toolkit. So if I've missed anything or you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I am available on Twitter via at code ward one or I'm also in the Casino Coin Discord. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, feel free to drop it down in the comments. And please give the video a like. If you like the content that I'm providing, give it a subscribe, and I'll be looking to put out more videos in the future here. Thank you very much for watching.